Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan. Today we're going to look at something that uh, we have not explored on this channel before. We're going to look at a Taiwanese whiskey, uh, this Cavalin here. Um, it's a single malt, I do believe. Uh, X bourbon cask, uh, cask strength at 54.8% ABV. Um, so I think... Now, I might get this wrong, but I'm pretty sure in Taiwan, uh, the Taiwanese government owns the distilleries, and there's like just a handful of them. Uh, and this is might be the only one that you see in the United States. Now, Cavalin, Cav, Cavalin, I don't, however you want to pronounce it, that's what it is. Got this whiskey for my wife, uh, well, for the both of us to enjoy on our anniversary this year. Uh, one of the more expensive ones that I have in my collection as of current uh, paid $169.99 here locally for this. Um, and maybe because it's the cash strength and everything else, um, you know, that attributes to some of the more uh, the spendier part of this. It's pretty nice and fancy here. Uh, I mean, it's it's not just... The whiskey here um this also comes you know with a nice um blend karen in this beautiful box and all this other stuff so uh paid a little bit more for probably more than just the whiskey here um but do have to say it's uh it's a fairly nice whiskey we'll get into it here um i know that if you watch like rex and daniel and some of the other people other whiskey channels out there that they have said a lot of really good things about like some of the sherry cast the port wine cast red wine cast finish uh cavalins this one's the ex bourbon casks um so you're gonna get you know some of those more american bourbon notes out of it um as a compared to like if it were one of the like sherry casts or something like that where you get a lot of those sweeter fruitier notes um so yeah with that Let's dive into it. I'm gonna warm it up just a just a touch here and see what we get out of it. Um, <clears throat> now on the nose, uh, I'm getting actually uh, very bourbon. Maybe it's power of suggestion because I know um, previously coconut, uh, almost like coconut sunscreen. Um, along with, uh, like, uh, like pina colada smell. Uh, I got that out of this before, but right now it's coming off exactly like if you, if I had to guess what this whiskey was just on the nose going into it blind, I'd definitely say bourbon, something in the bourbon category. It smells very bourbon-y, um, like right in line with, um, like wild turkey 81. That for being higher proof, uh, the proof's not coming through in the nose at all. Uh, but I get um, cherry or that, eh, yeah, I'd say cherry mixed with some apple, some honey, a little bit of peanut dust. Seeing if I can get something else out of there, a little bit of honey. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this smells. Bourbon. Bourbon, bourbon, bourbon is what it smells like for sure right now to me. <clears throat> Going on the palate, see what we get. Proof comes out a little bit more in the palate. A little bit of burn, back of the throat. Um, but it's not dominating. It's not hitting all that hard. And man... Is this tasting very bourbony to me? Which is very weird because I know for a fact that it that pina colada, pineapple, coconut was really, really coming home in this before. But right now, it is all bourbon flavors. Honey, graham cracker, um, apple, a little bit of brown sugar in there. <clears throat> That's very interesting to me how much this has changed from uh, the first time with my wife. Because my wife and I drank it, we were kind of like, eh, whatever. And, you know, at the price point, 170 bucks, I'm going to go, eh, it tastes like bourbon. Um, but 
Ooh, there we go. On the very lingering back side of that palette, just, you know, that finish just turned into that coconut um, pina colada kind of flavor. So that's more of what in line with what I remember. But man, the nose is cherry apple. Uh, yeah, wild turkey or brown foreman starting to move into a deeper uh, brown sugar and honey. Very interesting. Just not what I remember, but I'm I'm digging it right now. <clears throat> but what did I say? It's 54.8. So what is that? 109.6 proof. Um, you know, it's not all that high. But man. It has a sweet honey graham cracker up front. And then it pushes into the fruit in the middle. Then you pick up some uh, like caramel vanilla. And then it goes back into this really densely heavy bready graham cracker, honey graham cracker finish. Uh, along with that proof bitiness, the um, little black pepper kind of spice on the end of it with that. Um, so it's a little bit spicy on the end uh, with the proof. Uh, the proof, like I said, not dominating, not overwhelming. It's actually really nice. Um, I'm actually going to put just a drop of water in here. Um, again, you know, I don't always do this, but once in a while, it's a little bit nice just to see what all comes out of this. Um, I'm going to put a couple of drops in there, maybe drop it down to about a hundred flat here, somewhere in that ballpark. And of course, whenever I'm saying these proof numbers, I'm just guessing. Um, you know, I don't know for a fact that this is now 100 proof, but it's got to be fairly close to it. Um, just to see if we can open it up a little bit more. We'll see what we can get out of here. Um, but really big fan of this. I'm actually such a fan of this that uh, I'm curious. Ah, if you watched my last couple videos, you know that I picked up those Remuses and that Henry McKenna from... Uh, Gardner, Montana, they actually had the port finish cavil in there. I want to say it was like in the mid-70s for price, maybe 80. I almost picked it up, but it didn't. And I kind of wish I had because both my wife and I thought that we had seen this around town at other places, including the cheaper liquor store here in town. Um, and I think we did, like there has been some there from time to time. Uh, but when we went back and looked, it wasn't there this, the you know, previously or this last time we went back and looked. So uh, hopefully they'll get one in of some variety other than this cast strength um, American oak here. And we'll see what that is, because I'm if not, I know Gillette or Casper will have it. But um, I, I'm curious now. They got me intrigued. It's a pretty darn good whiskey. It's uh, it's well put together. It's well balanced. It's a well-rounded flavor profile. Nothing spiky, uh, nothing um, out of the ordinary. It's just a good, solid whiskey all the way through. And for a cast strength, pretty decent. I'm not going to lie on that. Ooh, now with that water in there and warming it up, just honey, 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 like a dark, dense honey on the nose. A little bit of that breadiness from like a graham cracker. And then a really nice, bright, Apple in the background. Um, really, really nice. Very sweet on the nose. I like that a lot. The taste kind of flattened out the beginning part of the, the palate there. But then it doubled down on those sweet notes and that graham cracker note. So the first beat or two... Uh, of the palette with that water in there was a little bit flat and watery then it picked up some ethanol in there uh, and got a little bit of sharpness from that ethanol but right at the same time then it doubled down on like that sweet caramel some honey and that graham cracker note from start to finish is really like once those flavors kicked in that i mean it's like sitting and eating a box of honey graham crackers right now it really is even on that finish it's really, really nice if you're into those notes for sure. Well balanced. Um, I will say that that little bit of water did 
make the proof a little punchier, even though uh, it knocked down the proof some. It uh, it definitely separated the, the alcohol from the rest of the flavor profile a little bit, so that uh, ethanol was a little bit uh, punchier on that. But man, really, really like this. So there you go, $169.99, call it $170 bucks here in Wyoming. Drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle of Cavalin Cash Strength for in your area. Again, this is, I don't think it's actually a collector's edition or something or a distiller's edition or anything like that. But the fact that it, oh, it does say gift set on it. So it says X Bourbon Cash Strength gift set. So um, the fact that this is a gift set with that uh, Glen Karen in there, you know, that's going to add to the price. Plus, you get this really beautiful box and all that other stuff. So, um, you know, I think just the regular X bourbon cask is somewhere in like the 70 to 90 dollar range, something like that. Um, and I don't think that's cash strength, but hey, drop in the comments down below whatever Cavalin product you can find and the price you can find it for in your area and just where that is. Let me know what your experience is with it, whether you like it or dislike it. Uh, or anything else you have going on, go ahead, drop that down in the comments below. I'm uh, actually currently, while I'm doing this, I'm also trying, I got the um, the uh, turkey fryer going outside. Uh, the Well, it's not the fryer, but the, the fryer stand and the propane and everything. I'm canning some uh, fermented salsa that I made. Uh, if you haven't checked out Brad Leone on the Bon Appetit, It's Alive. Um He's had a channel now for several years, and uh, he's absolutely hilarious, in my opinion. Kind of my kind of guy, and uh, he's been fermenting a whole bunch of stuff. And I just found him maybe two weeks ago, his channel, and started watching it, and uh, really enjoying that. So check that out if you haven't already. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, run over to BitChute and, uh, or Rumble, and check out Life & Whiskey there going to do most of the interaction over there and kind of start veering away from YouTube, especially since my views on YouTube are so low and I'm getting a little bit more play over on BitChute. Um, definitely check those out. So there you go. Cavalin Taiwanese Whiskey X Bourbon Cash Strength or X Bourbon Cask Cash Strength. Um, it's a win in my book. Uh, you know, as I always say, I would love to see it at a lower price. And I'm sure the non-gift box set is definitely at a lower price. Um, but, you know, not a bad whiskey at all. Definitely a fan. So there you go. As always, thanks for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video when we look at... Uh, we'll go with Talisker in the next video. So there you go. Thanks for watching.